Murder of Samira Nazir. Samira Nazir was a 25-year-old British Pakistani woman murdered by her brother and cousin in an honour killing in Southall, London. Samira was murdered for refusing to enter into an arranged marriage and for rejecting her parents' choice of suitors from Pakistan. Instead, she became engaged to someone of her own choosing who was from a different caste and deemed unsuitable. Samira's father was also implicated in her murder but fled to Pakistan whilst on bail. His family claimed that he died while a fugitive in Pakistan. On 23rd of April 2005, Samira and her chosen fiancé had attempted to meet with her mother away from the family home, but her mother refused. Samira's brother then instructed her to return home, where he, her father and mother were waiting for her. Also in attendance was Imran Mohammed, whose real name is Kashif Rana, a 17-year-old illegal immigrant from Pakistan, referred to as a distant cousin. He lived in an outbuilding in the garden of the Nazir family home and was considered part of the family. A bitter argument broke out about Samira's future as she was held down and attacked by her brother, Azar Nazir, Imran Mohammed, and allegedly her father as well. She was stabbed multiple times and her throat was slashed in what was described as a prolonged and frenzied attack. Neighbours were alerted by screams for help. One neighbour knocked on the door but was rebuffed by Azar who claimed his sister was having fits. At one point Samira managed to open the front door in a bid to escape but her brother pulled her back inside by her hair. The attack was witnessed by Samira's mother and Azar's daughters aged two and four. From the outset Azar denied that he had played any part in his sister's murder apportioning the blame entirely on Imran Mohammed. Mohammed openly admitted responsibility for Samira's death and insisted that he had acted alone. The police and prosecutors were not convinced and suspected that Mohammed had been instructed to kill Samira by other members of the family, with prosecutor Nazir Afzal stating we knew there was a wider web of guilt. We had to break the omerta, the code of silence. We knew the people involved would not talk. Covert listening devices were deployed in the family home and sufficient circumstantial evidence was obtained to justify the arrest of Samara's brother and father. Both were charged, but the father was released on bail and fled to Pakistan before the trial. The family claimed that he later died there, but police were sceptical.